The House, which reconvened after more than two hours of executive session held behind closed doors, resumed the day's proceedings with the second reading of the bill sponsored by the leader of the House, Honorable Molikat Akande Adiola from Oyo State. The leader, while leading the debate on the general principles of the bill, told the House that the provisions of the existing Immigration Act have become grossly inadequate for the ever-expanding scope and dynamism of the Immigration Service with regard to operational standard that is up to date with modern realities. Members who were unanimous in their support for the bill described it as a reformatory framework seeking to replace the 1963 Act for the purpose of enhancing international best practices in the operations of the Nigerian Immigration Service. It is a reality that this bill is far older than most of members that are even sitting on this floor. And I state very clearly that the penalty structure in this bill is not in conformity even with the present day reality. Today we have a situation where the Immigration Act of 1963 does not help in dealing with cases of expatriates who enter into this country, for instance, and begin to do business for years without the requisite expatriate program. The bill was referred to the House Committee on Interior for further legislative inputs from the National Assembly Complex in Abuja. I am Musa Baba Ahmed for OGTV News.